Okay, so let's get your camera going from this to this in two minutes, hopefully. Right, before we get into it, for your convenience, I have made a couple like presets already made and I've put them in a Google Drive file. The link is down below, you can download it. You can just use that straight into your OBS so you don't have to mess around Photoshop. But if you do, let's get to that. First thing you want to do is go on Photoshop, any of the program you've got to similar to it. I'm going to make a, a new one. I'm going to do it at 1920 by 1080. I'm going to make a new project at that. I'm then going to go on the rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure I'm black. And we're going to fill this out so it covers the whole area. Next, we're going to duplicate it with Control J. I'm going to then change the fill to white and we're going to get rid of the background. Then from there, if you scroll down a bit on the appearance, you'll see this section. We're going to put 180. You can see now it's got that nice border to it. Which is what you're after and there we're going to file export export as i'm going to name it camera mask and you want to make sure you do it as jpeg next from there duplicate this top layer with control j deselect the bottom two and then for this first one you want to set it to black then transform it control c shrink it down a bit then you want to go filter and just like down that layer you want to go filter blur Collision blur, convert to smart object. I'm doing 18 pixels. Then lower the opacity. I'm doing it to about 65. And from there, file, export, export as PNG, name it camera shadow. And from there, we need to go into OBS. Once you've got OBS open, you want to go into your camera. So for me, this is this. For instance, it's just a reference. So what you want to do is click on it, right click, go to filters. Then go plus, image mask and blend. We're going to name it camera mask. We're going to go path browse we're going to select the mask we just made open it up then click close and then going to click plus image call the shadow again browse select the shadow click ok i'm going to get the shadow shrink it down smaller to our camera smaller than our camera put it behind it like so then drop the shadow below the camera there you go